if you hadn't gone through the process during COVID, and you imagine you, you met her, you fell in love, now you're communicating every day, long distance, but your heart is yearning to be with her and she yearning to be with you. And you have to wait two plus years for the K-1 process, if you're American, um, to bring her to the States. And then you have three months, no pressure, to get married. Okay, if you went through that process, you would appreciate the silver lining that's on the table right now for anyone dating in Ukraine right now during wartime. Welcome back to part four of Wartime Dating in Ukraine. Now we're gonna talk about your personality or character qualities that are going to drastically hurt your chances of being successful during these war times. Number one character qualities that most likely will lead you to failure is being cheap. Being cheap. <laughs> Cat got your tongue, honey. What, uh, what do we mean by that? Again, we're not talking about you don't need to be a millionaire and you don't need to lavish her with expensive gifts. But being cheap, talking about money. I think of past clients who talk about money a lot. Out. This, this little item over here is very expensive. This, and then, of course, not doing anything. You know, I spoke about the client that's now successful, finally, after six years dating in Ukraine. One thing he did or didn't do, he never bought flowers for, for his dates. And I told him, come on. And the guy's got lots of money. He's got it coming out of his ears. But he can't, he's cheap. There's a guy with money that's cheap. And that was one uh, of his negative attributes that hurt his chances. And he's six years and dating. I don't even want to mention how many ladies before he's now successful. Met her during wartime just uh, about a month ago. He met her. So yeah, being cheap, not buying flowers, um, talking about money in a negative way, in a cheap way. Why is that so important, honey? Um, I, I think in in subconsciousness, yeah, on the lady, it, it's reflect that uh, he, he's not good provider. You know, I, I will not feel safe and secure with him. Uh, exactly. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, like I, I don't feel safe with him. Basically, was exactly what I was going to say. I was going to see if you and I were on the same wavelength, and that's exactly it. Because Ukrainian women read into things about everything. Whether you put her in a taxi to send send her home at the end of the date, again, she reads safety and security into that too. How you dress, she reads safety and security into that. Because let's face it, successful people dress for success. They read into all of these things. So that's what it is, exactly what uh, my Anushka so beautifully said. Second negative quality or personality characteristic that's going to hurt you we mentioned i already mentioned before and that's being over talkative having verbal diarrhea again it's a feminine quality not a masculine one and i already spoke about it a lot so number three negative quality it's being not in the right emotionally start you know being broken from your past relationship keeping your ex in your heart you know and trying to build up a new relationship it's just not the right time for you guys you need to release everything you know all bad experience learn what you learn you know from your every experience come for us at the lessons you know take your lessons and move on you know to the right future yeah and, and this is something that's uh, not exactly wartime dating not wartime it's it, it's it applies right all of these apply during all the time it's just that everything during wartime now everything is hypersensitive you know super critical everything that's important then became super important now um, that's all and listen I want to be a little bit personally vulnerable here and say that when I first came to Ukraine I thought I was whole I wasn't broken you know and I was dating and you know the the marriage psychologists counselors they say for every year of marriage you need um, half a year or they say half a year or a year to recover from that so I was married 10 years so that's five years to recover I said well that that's bullshit. I don't need five years to heal. But looking back with the 2020 uh, vision of hindsight, guess what? I see it took me three or four years and all the dating that I did before then, there was no, I had no chance of finding the one. I had no chance because when, when you're damaged goods, okay, your heart is not, it's not there. It's not free to love another. It's not because you're, you're broken. You know, so, Again, just try to take care of yourself. Take that time. There's no substitute for time. 
Time heals all wounds, and if you're not healed yet, if you're fresh out of a divorce, I don't recommend dating during wartime or when the war finishes. You need to heal yourself first. You can do this, but you'll just attract also broken women. No? It's a great point, honey. And that's what I did. <laughs> the relationship has no chance. And the fourth negative personality trait or characteristic that is really hard for you to be successful, especially during wartime dating, is if you're toxic at any level. If you're toxically negative, um, if you're depressive, toxically depressive, this she doesn't need. I mean, think of it, her life has been thrust into toxic land. She needs something, she needs somebody that's upbeat, uplifting, positive. She needs somebody that's gonna lift her up, not push her down, you know, not oppress her. We're not trying to rain down on you here. We're just trying to make you be aware of yourself and only you know which of these qualities you have and don't have. And I'm just saying, these four uh, negative qualities are going to make it much, much harder for you to be success successful now dating a lady during wartime. And I just want to mention that we are aware of these qualities, plus qualities or pros and negative qualities or cons. We're aware of them. And so when we do our coaching calls with our prospective clients, we have increased our rejection rate. So we are turning away. We see more clients now because we're not going to accept somebody as a client when we really can see your future failure. Okay, we don't see your success. So just last week, I turned down for some, for example, a guy that um, otherwise a good guy, but he can't come for eight months. I said, listen, you're better not to start now because you're just going to burn that bridge. Let me just add that if you have ability to come to Europe within the next three months, you ca you're okay to start process with us because it takes time up to one month True. to prepare your introduction package, then to introduce you to ladies, then to find time when we can do Skype introduction calls. So, so True. We, we okay. have a do, do have that wait or the dead time of between a, a month to three. And now for the silver lining. And this is not to be underestimated, guys. If you had it gone through the process during COVID, and you imagine you, you met her, you fell in love, now you're communicating every day, long distance, but your heart is yearning to be with her and she yearning to be with you. And you have to wait two plus years for the K-1 process, if you're American, um, to bring her to the States. And then you have three months, no pressure, to get married, well, Australia, it's the sweetest. She can just fl fly in and get have three years in her stamp to stay in Australia. And then you can begin the immigration process. Well, get married first, but the point is you have time. And let's not forget, Australia has a $10,000 application fee. And that's wave now. And she's a refugee, she comes in as a refugee. So Aussies, man, this is a golden, golden, opportunity for you guys. And remember in Australia, if she gets declined, that $10,000 fee you paid the government, it's gone. It's not refundable, right? So I think Australia is the sweetest advantage for you guys, for you Aussies. Um, second one, well, America is a, is a great one. I mean, um, we actually had a client that his uh, lady flew into Tijuana and drove across, but they have closed that opportunity now. And like anything in life, guys, windows of opportunity they open and they close they open and they close remember that this window will close and i think faster than you might think so why not take advantage of this opportunity now right canada is very good only two weeks of waiting yeah for yeah we were approved in two weeks you can start dating her now long distance find if you have you know a great connection no deal breakers you know and then go to Europe after a month or two, just to seal the deal, you know, like see if you have the chemistry and just feel if she's a potential wife for you. Then it's your choice. You have the opportunity to invite her to your country, whether it be America, Canada, Australia, and, and the doors are quite open no matter where you live, on, okay? You have to check into the refugee programs for Ukrainians right now, but most countries worldwide have a door that's open for Ukrainian refugees. And how easy, it's cheap, it's easy. She just flies to you. You save two years plus 
you know, of being in love and can't be together. That's huge, guys. It would be a great opportunity for our couples who was, you know, before I remember the woman was crying when I will see him because of COVID it's even extended to up to two years and now they all have it together. The other big point is you have time. There's no 90 day pressure to get married within 90 days or she loses her K-1 status, right? That's big pressure. And let's face it, um, the reason marriages fail for the most part is the guy and or the girl, they rush the process of, of, of courtship and getting married. They got married too quickly when they didn't really uh, know the other person well enough. Now you have that luxury of time. You don't have to rush it. We'll see you back soon for the grand finale of Wartime Dating in Ukraine. See you soon. And this poor bloke, you know, he says he wouldn't be able to live with himself if he didn't send her the $4,000 plus and she died in war situation in Ukraine. This is a heinous scam. Have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman, but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one, Ukraine, a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine, creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.